There today uh, we are going to learn about the chain rule and chain rule is denoted by uh, dy over dx and it is dy over du and du over dx where y is function of u and u is another function of x okay so remember one thing so uh, if it is in terms of t suppose uh, dy over dx and you want to introduce t so you can write down uh, dy over dt and dt over dx if you cancel dt with dt you will get again dy by dx okay isn't it so similarly if you cancel here du by du you will get dy over dx so what we are doing we are multiplying by some uh, number in the denominator and numerator okay so let's see questions here okay so so suppose uh, example one example one i'm going to show you it is uh, let's take y equal to one plus five x to the power Four. okay and we need to differentiate it with respect to x so when we are different we when we are differentiating with respect to x so what we can do we can write down dy over dx and here also we can write down d or dx and it is 1 plus 5 x to the power 4 we know only one thing like d over dx of x to the power n is n x n minus 1 so here are two terms okay here are two terms one is 1 and one is 5x so what we, i'm going to do i will suppose 1 plus 5x as a u so once we write down 1 plus 5x equal to u so what changes are coming here d over dx 1 plus 5x is u to u to the power 4 okay and that's it now if here it is u and x okay so what we need to do we need to multiply by du and dx so see here it is dy by dx we multiply by du so it is u if we change it with u okay and times by du in the numerator and denominator and dx is already in the bottom so we got d over du over du uh, u to the power 4 so what i did d over dx i have times by du here and du here okay and replace this du with dx so we have got d over du u to the power 4 now d over dx of x to the power n is nx n minus 1 so d over du of u to the power 4 is 4 u to the power 3 now we need to find du over dx okay du over dx so what will be du over dx so let's differentiate from here yeah okay so let me rub this so if you differentiate with respect to x so differentiation of 1 will be 0 differentiation of 5x will be 5 and we got du over dx as a 5 so we we can write down here 5 so our answer is 5 times 4 is 20 u to the power 3 and put value of u back here so u is 1 plus 5x to the power three nice and easy let's see another question now so example two example two let's take y equal to one over three plus two x okay so this we can write down three plus two x to the power minus one okay now we need to do dy over dx 
okay so same thing what we are going to do we can suppose 3 plus 2x as a u so 3 plus 2x as a u so if you differentiate differentiation of 3 with respect to x is 0 and this will be 2 and this will be du over dx yeah so dy over dx you can write down d over du u to the power minus 1 and here it is du over dx using same rule d over dx of x to the power n is n x n minus 1 so minus 1 is coming forward u to the power minus 2 and du over dx is 2 so let's write down 2 so this is minus 2 over u square minus 2 over u square now u is u is 3 plus 2x put it back here so it will be 3 plus 2x to the power 2 that is your final answer go for example 3 now let's take another example y equal to square root 6 minus x okay so here let's take u u is 6 minus x so this you can write down dy over dx this you can write down 6 minus x to the power half so because we have supposed this as a u so we can write down d over du u to the power half and it is du over dx so if you do du over dx from here so we get minus 1 right so let's put d over dx as minus 1 here and this will be half u to the power half minus 1 that is minus half and du over dx is 1 okay so is that right and d over dx is minus 1 so it is minus 1 so we can write down minus 1 over 2 u to the power half put the value of u back here so u is 6 minus x so you can write down 6 minus x to the power half or if you want you can write down minus 1 over 2 square root 6 minus x both answer are acceptable let's go for example 4 now so our next example is y equal to square root ln x okay if you want you can pause the video and just give it a try welcome back if you have tried now you can check your answer against my working so here what we are supposing let u is ln x okay so here we can write down dy over dx this will be d over du u to the power half and du over dx if you differentiate here so du over dx will be 1 upon x because d over dx of ln x is 1 over x and here it will be half u to the power minus half and du over dx is 1 over x now this you can write down 1 over 2 square root u and 1 over x so your final answer will be 1 upon 2x square root u is ln x you can put it back here yeah? so this is your final answer now let's go for next example i'm trying to explain each and every type of example so that you should not face any difficulty example 5 suppose uh, y equal to cos 3x square minus 2x plus 1 okay please pause the video and have a go welcome back if you have tried now you can check your working against my working okay so here u is here u is 3x square minus 2x plus 1 so this we can write down dy over dx that is d over du cos u and du over dx now d over du of cos u is minus sin u 
and d over dx we can find out from here here yeah? so d over dx what will be d over dx so this will be 3 times 2 that is 6x and minus 2 so d over dx is 6x minus 2 now put this value back here yeah? so once we are going to put this value back so it will be minus sine u is 3x square minus 2x plus 1 and this whole thing is multiplied by 6x minus 2 okay so that should be your final answer now example 6 if i'm taking simple example y equal to cos 5x okay cos 5x so any idea what we are going to suppose here as a u any idea if you are thinking that 5x is as a u then you are right so this we can write down dy over dx here d over du we can write down cos u and du over dx so if you differentiate this 5x so it will be 5 and du over dx now d over du of cos u is minus sin u and du over dx is 5 so this we can write down minus 5 sine and u is 5x so minus 5 sine 5x okay so same concept we can use in another question if question is like this y equal to 2 e to the power cos 5x okay so in this question chain rule within the chain rule will apply another chain rule so how we are going to apply just have a look here yeah? so let's write down here dy over dx so first thing we are supposing cos 5x as a u so cos 5x we have supposed as a u so it will be 2 e to the power u and we are differentiating with respect to du and du over dx so 2 d over dx of e to the power x is e to the power x so that's why d over du of e to the power u is e to the power u so it is e to the power u now what will be du over dx so if you differentiate cos 5x so if you see here cos 5x differentiation is minus 5 sin 5x so so here we need to suppose again something i can show you, you know, with my working let me rub this okay so u is cos 5x okay so here cos 5x suppose uh, we need to find du over dx okay now this 5x again you can suppose like here another letter you have you have already taken let's suppose 5x as a t so then we need to do d over dt is cos t and dt over dx so d over dt of cos t will be minus sin t and dt over dx will be 5 so we got minus 5 sin t and t is 5x so here you can write down straight away minus 5 sin 5x let's write down minus 5 sin 5x this minus 5 and 2 you multiply it will be minus 10 e to the power u u is cos 5x so you can write down here cos 5x and this is sin 5x so final answer is minus 10 e to the power cos 5x and sin 5x okay so this is another example 8 y equal to e to the power x plus 1 to the power 3 please pause the video and have a go welcome back if you have tried so here we are supposing u is x plus 1 to the power 3 so if we differentiate dy over dx so this is already u so we can write down here d over du e to the power u and du over dx so what will be du over dx here again so chain rule within chain rule here suppose x plus 1 as a t t to the power 3 so we can multiply d dt here and it is dt over dx so this will be 3t square 
and dt over dx because t is x plus 1 so dt over dx will be 1 so we got 3t square and t is x plus 1 to the power 2 so this is our final value of du over dx so remember here we are applying chain rule within the chain rule so first we supposed x plus 1 as a u this is our first thing and the second thing i have supposed this x plus 1 as a t so we have converted d uh, dy over dx in the form of du over dx then du over dx is converted into dt over dx yeah by multiplying dt and dt here and by multiplying du and du here okay so final value of d over dx is this one so let's write down and d over du of e to the power u is e to the power u and this is 3 x plus 1 square okay now so let's put the value of uh, u back so 3 i am writing first 3 e to the power u u is x plus 1 to the power 3 okay x plus 1 to the power 3 it was x plus 1 to the power 3 and uh, here it is x plus 1 square right so this will be your final answer right so uh, i tried to cover uh, different different uh, example so that my students should not face any difficulty and especially last two example example seven and example eight i have applied chain rule within the chain rule so there we are supposed to two thing like u is x plus one something and then t is something else so first we are changing u in uh, dy over dx in terms of du then we are changing du over dx in terms of dt over dx okay so this you should remember i hope uh, you have enjoyed this video and uh, you can write down the comments if you are facing any problem so that i can help you and if you haven't subscribed my channel please subscribe my channel and thanks for watching thanks once again goodbye